Hi guys, um, I am very excited. If you follow me on Snapchat or if you read the title of this um, video, you know that I am on my way to go get some beauty enhancements done to myself. Um, I'm on my way to Beverly Hills and I'm planning on getting my lips done, my under bag fillers and possibly Botox, but for sure my lips and whether um, I'm going to... I'm gonna see if it's worth getting my other things done to myself depending on what Dr. Deer tells me so I'm very excited I've always wanted to get my lips done so yeah I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me I have my appointment at 4 and it's literally like 2 o'clock Oh my god, this shirt is really pissing me off. Um, but yeah, I just got to Beverly Hills right now. And I think we're going to go eat Subway first just because our my appointment isn't until like an hour from now. And I'm not fucking trying to wait in the car. I'm fucking starving. I need to get my mind together of what I need to tell this doctor. Anyways, um, how long did we drive? Like an hour, right? Yeah, pretty much. It was like a fucking hour, guys. It didn't feel like an hour this time though, huh? No, at least we didn't have to drive two hours. Yeah, last time we came to LA, guys, we drove two freaking hours. Two hours. And then we got home, and then we filmed that collab video that we did on my channel where I was like half asleep. And then you guys said I was being bitchy to him, but that's how we are. <laughs> like, did, did you see that comment? Yeah. It literally got like 30 fucking likes, and I'm like, girl, that's how we fucking are. I'm sorry, sorry about it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go get some Subway because I'm on a diet and Subway is the only healthy thing I could think of right now. Shut up Siri. Um, but yeah. So I literally just came to Subway to get myself something to eat. So I'm about to eat at Subway and I got a foot long because you know, how do you wink? Size matters. <laughs> Whoa, that foot long. Wow, wow. Where's Edgar? Let's see if Edgar comes through right now. Wow, wow, foot long for days. So I'm already here like in Beverly Hills. I'm just being in the city makes me very nervous. Like just being here makes me nervous. Like in an hour or so, I'm gonna go in, talk to the doctor and possibly get all these things said to myself. So it makes me very nervous. I'm very excited though because it's something I've wanted for so long. But yeah, anyways guys, I'm gonna let you guys go real quick just because I'm gonna start eating because I'm fucking hungry. But yeah. Okay, so I'm eating my last meal before my whole phase changes up. So we just finished eating and now we're gonna go to liquor because we need to go buy some gum because you know the doctor's gonna be working in this area and then what if I open my mouth and he gets that's not trying to happen so let's go thank you so much for opening the door for me <laughs> thank you so much oh wait wait there's a fat oh no that's a fabric store what else is here we need gum oh so we just parked and now I'm gonna go to the offices Oh, sorry. That was gross. Oh, I'm excited. I'm kind of nervous. We have like three minutes to get there. I'm so nervous. And all this lighting is so bad. Let's walk this way. Better. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're here with Dr. Deer. And we're going in. Okay, guys. So this is a little room. Can we just talk about the view? Oh my god, I'm even scared like being close to the view. It's so gorgeous. I'm so excited. I just talked to um, her patient, the doctor's patient coordinator. I just talked to the patient's coordinator and I'm so nervous. I told her what I wanted done and she's like, okay, well, I'm just going to go talk to the doctor, bring him in. And I'm so excited. Hey okay, guys, so I'm already here in Dr. Deer's office. He's like back there. Hey, Hello. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm very excited. I'm about to get my lips done. You guys know it's something I've been wanting to get my lips done for like a long time. So to finally do it, it's pretty exciting. So we're just going to show you guys like 
we're gonna try to film a little bit of the process for my YouTube channel, but I will be having like a little um, video going up on my Instagram if you guys want to see it more in depth, like more zoomed into my lips. But yeah, I'm so excited. So let's. So you nervous? Yes, but I'm so excited. Um, and I'm in good hands, so I'm just excited to see the outcome, guys. Oh, calm down. I calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this first part is all about comfort. We're not doing anything until you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. I really mean it, patients are like, this is nothing. If you feel pain, you need to tell me because I want you to enjoy the experience, okay? Mm -hmm. The only part you're not going to like is this part, and it's just for a second, okay? Alright, so we're on camera now, so what we're doing is we're going to make you close your eyes, open up your mouth, then close your mouth. So every patient, whenever I do any kind of filler or procedure, I want to make sure the comfort's most important. So we do a little bit of a dental block, you feel a little poke, that's it. That's as much as the pain you're going to feel today. And then you're going to feel a little bit of a burn from the Novocaine. And you're going to feel your face get completely numb. Great job. Is it okay? Not too bad? Okay, I'm going to do the other one. That's it. That was the poke. You can feel a little bit of a burn. That's normal. Okay, so they just numbed my mouth and I could barely talk, guys. It feels so weird. Oh my god. Sorry, wait, wait. Oh my god, I can't feel like any of this portion of my face. That's good, right? It's good. It's good though. I'm gonna get a little bit of more numbing stuff where I'm gonna enter. And if you do a proper lip injection, you never oh should have god. a joker lip or a duck lip or a fish lip. That happens when people inject this outside part, which I never inject. Uh -huh. Even by, by putting a little bit of anesthesia medicine, which is going to go away, you can see how it looks like a fish lip, even from injecting anything into the corners. So that's why you don't want to inject fillers there. So this is that look is going to go away? Yep, this is just Novocaine. Are you numb here? Yes. <laughs> I'm not even too Are you numb here? Um, not so much. Okay, what about your nose, tip of your nose? Um, yeah. Here, you know? Yes. Are you down here? Yes. Okay, are you down up here? Uh-huh. Would this hurt over here? Uh-huh. Yeah. Right here too? I mean, it ain't hurt, but it just felt like the sting. This feels... Yeah, it feels really numb. Okay. Okay. Here, not as much? Not as much, Okay, yeah. so let's put some more on that side. Okay, okay. What are you doing? I am adding a little bit of saline to make it a little bit more smooth and silky. Um, I think this helps me with uh, the way it feels when I inject it, it's a little bit more smooth as well as you're less likely to get lumps or bumps, which are rare, but this makes it even more rare. S silky smooth and less lumps and bumps. Priming the blunt needle, although it looks long, it's because I like to use one needle poke for and get the whole half of lip possible with one hole rather than multiple and so it's got no sharp and it's blunt so i'm just priming it by getting it started <laughs> and we are ready to go i just want to make sure that you are comfortable yes do you feel the numb yes it's an amazing feeling right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do your lower lip as well correct yeah okay. just make it like symmetrical because there's one side that's more like i don't know if you can see it like this side's more fuller, I think. Yes, both sides and, like that. Like yeah. And I'm, I don't. For your lower lip, it's already got nice volume. I just want to make it so that it has a, uh, a pop. Okay. Okay. I'm excited, guys. Do I look excited? I uh, look very numb, right? All right. So you might feel like you're you're drooling, things like that. Nothing is happening. You can ask Gladys. Gladys is the best hand in the world to squeeze on. <laughs> so <laughs> if you want to like squeeze her hand, she's fine with it. Yes. <laughs> And this is how I use the smallest needle they make to make a starting hole. And then... You poked it already here? Are you serious? I didn't know if you had anything. Okay, All right, so you feeling anything? Mm -hmm. All right, so although this looks like a long needle and, and I understand I've been posting videos about it for a while, the greatness is a part about this is I don't have to use multiple sticks. I use one stick and I can get the whole lip for one area. And this is amazing, it's instant. So I'm gonna do that beautiful M that he already has, the bow and arrow that we call, and I'm just gonna go up to it, I'm gonna follow it, I'm gonna inject a little filler, 
and you see instantly his lip is already enhanced. Can you feel anything? No. It's pretty amazing, right? Are you comfortable? Yes. Okay. Are you feeling any kind of pain? No. Great. Well, I'm sure people understand that this is a blunt needle. It's no sharp end. So bruising is really, really rare. And already you're seeing a little plumping. This should be a very, very comfortable procedure. And I'm just going to kind of focus on getting the result that I want. And you can tell me what even what excites you with this. How long have you been thinking about this? For a long time. Have you talked about it online? Yes. So everyone's going to be finally seeing you get what you want? Yes. I wonder if they're going to be shocked that you did it. <laughs> I do little d different layers of the lip because I don't want it to be smooth and not lumpy. So we do multiple layers to get a nice, beautiful upper lip. Turn towards me a little bit. There you go. And that's looking good. You want me to show you like the half and half? Mm -hmm. uh, let me finish the lip. And okay. Then you can do it. And I want to show. Uh, this is my five-year-old song by his jam. <laughs> he sings it constantly. <laughs> yes, this is like everything right now guys. He did this side a look at the difference. I'm living right now. I'm living. <laughs> oh my god, I could not talk. And it didn't hurt. So if any of you guys are asking if the procedure hurts, it does not. I think you only feel like a sting when he like numbs you, but other than that, all the poking, everything, it doesn't hurt at all. So look at it again and say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Head back. <laughs> 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 you want to see an exact half? Yeah. Look at the difference, guys. You guys living like I am? <laughs> <laughs> I swear I love it. It just doesn't look like I do because like, my whole face is numb, so I have like no expressions. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but it, I like it. I like it. I'm gonna go tighter now. Okay. <laughs> If you bruise, it's going to be three to four or five days, yeah. okay? But you shouldn't bruise. Um, so tomorrow night, just start looking normal. In about two, three, four days, it's just, it's just settled in. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're just going to clean you up, and then I'm going to, you know, pressure for a little bit, and then I'm going to take a couple of feet for symmetry. Okay. What do you think so far? I like Good for you. Good for you. It's nice. I'm going to do my massage. I feel so different. Like it feels weird. Okay. 
Alright, so we are done. Now what I do for after I do any filler is I just do a s simple, gentle massage to make sure there's no asymmetries or bumps and it comes out really smooth. Do a little shaping. Juvederm is a nice gel, so you can actually play with it and mold it a little bit. So that feels like a beautiful lip. Great job. What I'm feeling for is anything that I may have missed. I think maybe right here we can probably get a little more there and it will be done. Oh, the frown. I could have like, no, 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 like, let's do it. Look at like this. I know. I do it to my medical assistant, Lena Nala, she's not here today. And I made her see patients after. Like, <laughs> oh, the white kids don't know what I'm like off road right here. What do you guys think, guys? They're good, right? They're supposed to go a little bit down. They look too full right now, but it's because of the... What was it doing? Because of the... It's because of the numbing, um, and they were just... I was like, you <laughs> It's because of the numbing and they were just injected, so swelling is expected and normal. Um, they may swell a little more and then it'll start to come down. But they're gonna turn out amazing. Exactly what she said. <laughs> I was like, exactly what she said is what I meant to say. Like, I'm touching myself, guys, and I can't feel myself touching myself. Is that weird? I like it. Any questions? What do you think? Mm -hmm. How about honest. bumps or anything? Yeah, so they look like literally how he draws them. Really? Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. You want to go check it out? Let's go. Okay, guys. So I just left Dr. Deer's office and he is amazing. Right now, I kind of look a bit weird just because I'm still swollen. So my face is like lifted and my lips are kind of weird. But I love them. I can't wait for the numbing to go down and for the lips to settle down. I'm so excited. I loved it. I would totally recommend so far the the serve the how do you say it? the customer service was it customer service yeah it's amazing is it customer service is that what it's called it's amazing Gladys lover I just recommend hi guys so um, we're on our way to LA we have Edgar in the back seat and then we have Steph um, Steph is actually filming a very exciting thing with Blind Blanc which you guys should be able to see. June. June. So this video should be up this week, so stay tuned for June. Follow stuff, and you guys will find out. Um, but yeah, and then after that, we're probably gonna go where, stuff? Uh, food. <laughs> we're probably gonna go eat. <laughs> we're gonna go eat. And then uh, me and Edgar, we're gonna go see Dr. Deer because I have a checkup for my lips, and I'm gonna possibly, most likely, get some more things done. I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. But yeah, guys, um, once we're there in Dr. Deer's office, I will keep vlogging for you guys some more. But yeah. Hey okay, guys, so I'm back in Dr. Deer's office and I just came for a checkup and for some pictures that he um, took of my after the lip fillers. And we're gonna have a little combo with him right now about the procedure he did and about any questions um, you guys may have had. And he's gonna go right ahead and answer all of them for you guys. So we're just waiting for him to come in the room and that's what we're gonna do. Okay guys, so Dr. Deer is right here. Dr. Deer. <laughs> I'm not there. Oh, take two. <laughs> take two. Okay, he is right there. Here's the man behind the lips. <laughs> behind working the magic. Okay, so I'm here for my checkup. Um, I love my lips, that's honestly all I can say. Um, but we're just here, um, he's gonna answer some of the questions that you guys might have um, after watching the footage. Um, okay, about the needle, a lot of people probably be thinking like, oh, did it hurt because the needle was super big. Can you explain them the whole procedure and the whole needle um, situation? Absolutely. Well, as you can see, Alan's lips are full, they're symmetrical, meaning they look the same. Um, they look really nice on him, they harmonize. When you do lips, everyone's always worried about if it's going to look like a duck, if it's going to look like a joker, or they always tell me it's going to fish lip. Those are the biggest fears I, I get about the result. And as you can see on Alan, go take a look, they look symmetrical, it's a beautiful shape, and it's really important to get the proper shape rather than just size. So we enhance them with shape. And doing that, sit back, you can hold that. 
There are a couple ways of doing this. I have named my protocol the bow and arrow technique, and the reason I mean that's a bow is that if you look at the shape of a proper beautiful lip like Alan has, is that this is the bow. For example, if this was a bow and arrow, you hold it right here, and then these are the arrows, which is the point here. So if you really give someone a beautiful bow and add two arrows, I actually put a needle up to here to fill this, you get a bow and arrow lip, and that takes a proper lip. If you inject out in here, you get a curl, and he would look like a duck or a fish lip. So that's the proper way of getting a, a lip. Now the second thing, people, or another problem that people ask is pain. Alan, you tell the camera. Did you feel anything? I did not feel anything, guys. I would see, if you guys see the video, you guys would probably feel uncomfortable because that's how I felt after watching it, but I was like, oh my god, I did not feel that go in. The needle, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the needle is what I mean. I did not feel the needle go in whatsoever. Like, it was painless. I did not bruise. And the needle was so big. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah. So we, I numbed the face, so you actually feel no pain. Now there are a couple ways of doing lips. There is a way of doing a short needle with multiple needle sticks. You actually take the needle and you do multiple pokes across the lip. I personally don't like that because when I used to do that, the lip used to swell a little bit every time you put a needle poke in and get a little bit of a blood, not much, just a little bit. And after a while, the lips gets really swollen. And when the lips get swollen, I don't know if I'm getting the result that I want. So I want to do less needle pokes than actually watch it form in front of my eyes. So if you go back to Alan, what I do it's with my bone arrow technique is I actually make small openings in the corner of the mouth with a mini micro Botox needle on both sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I only make six needle holes. Now this is the thing that makes everyone kind of freak out on social media and my Instagram account is that they say it's a long needle. Yes, but through one needle hole, I'm able to make my cupid's bow and go into the lip and do the whole lip through one opening. And the best part is, if you look at this needle, it's no sharp end. My finger is touching right on top of it. Go ahead and touch Let's it. See. Touch it. Boom. Does that hurt at all? Guys, like I'm like pressing so hard and they like So it has no sharp end. It's blunt, I meaning it's rounded. That means it's never going to hurt anything on the lip, the muscle, um, any blood vessels. So the bruising risk goes really down. So my bone arrow technique, I use one, two, three, four. And then I switch to a small needle and I go five. Six to complete my arrows, and this is the lip we get. No pain. And did you, did you get any bruising? No, I did not get any bruises. Um, just like he said, um, it was painless. I did not feel anything. I am actually very happy with my lips. Um, if you guys have been following me on social media, my lips have been something I've been wanting to get done for a really long time. So for Dr. Deer to finally be, um, for Dr. Deer to do it and actually get the results I got, I was. I'm so happy. Um, and I'm really proud of Alan. He did a great job. He was a great model patient. He iced himself after like we told him to. He felt no pain, no bruising. He came back for his visit, so I'm able to make sure that he's got a proper result. Uh, we're proud of him, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the procedure. Um, and by the way, if you guys want to visit Dr. Deer to get anything done, I will leave all his information, where his office is, everything in the description bar, any contact information so you guys could... Um, Come and visit him and try to see if you guys um, want to get anything done. Um, make sure you guys let him know that I sent you guys. But yeah, guys, um, this is it for my vlog. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. But yeah, guys, see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.